All right, and here we are, here another we are. week around the trash fire. Your host, Matthias, along with the boy, John. Well, John, it's happened. I've caught Grandfather Nurgle's plague. Oh no! But yeah, it's quite unfortunate. But the positive is, uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of painting done. Oh, there you go, being productive. Yeah, I can only say that for about like, two days. Well, it's kind of messed up because you're painting Thousand Suns, I'm assuming. True. The, the rival. Spreading my contagion to them. <laughs> but uh, not much happened this week. Yeah, pretty light on news. On the Warhammer front, at least. Yeah, it's the build-up to LVO. Does GW even care about LVO? Yeah, there's there's gonna be a big reveal. I mean, I know. Okay, yeah, I guess I guess when you put it like that, there there is a lot of stuff they reveal. I mean, I remember Abaddon was a big one that got revealed. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was teased the one time. And I think Gasgol was teased the last time. So I think Abaddon is twenty nineteen and Gasgol is twenty twenty. I think. I might that's, be wrong. 2018. Yeah, that, that, my, oh, I think Abaddon was... No, he was 2019, because that's when Chaos, I believe. Yeah, that's the only yeah. reason why I remember it, because I was. those were the two years that we went to LVO. Yeah. So, maybe maybe we'll do some predictions at the end here. Yes, yes, But yes. Uh, since we have such little news, let's just jump right into this. So, first up, we got the coin. Obviously, yeah. this month. Oh, God, my paints. Uh, we got a... Uh, the Tau coin. Yes, we have the Tau coin. Makes sense, I guess. I mean, they are. Yeah, I'd say so. It does make sense. There's, there's still rumor for this month, right? Or did they get pushed back? Uh, they haven't said anything. The last we heard is they are this month. So, other than that, haven't really heard anything for them. Okay. So there we go. Uh, not much to say. I mean, it's the Tau symbol. Right. All you uh coin collectors out there, go and get it. A hundred dollars. And uh, a free towel Pathfinder? Or is this just a warrior? I think it's a fire warrior. It's a fire warrior. And a free fire warrior, if you need it. You know, decorate your base a little. <laughs> that's, all that, that's, all they're, that's all they're good for now. I'm sure they're going to be great. I haven't I'm been sure. looking into their uh, leaked rules yet, but... New book means they got to be good. Yeah, they have to be not terrible. I mean, none they have of them to be new... better than what they are. Yes. Which means if getting into mid tier is good, that that's better than where they are. Absolutely. Moving on. Uh, this is the Sunday preview. Figure we just quickly go over this. So uh, we're getting that two player starter set. Uh, what are we saying? Is uh, 150? 160? Or is this... No way this is 200. Oh, you know what? Let's look at our, our sources at the different websites. Let's see. Well, what are your predictions? 160 at most. Yeah, I'm going to say 160. Let me... Uh... I don't think it should be 160, but, you know, it's GW we're talking about here, so... Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Go on. Come on, blue. Okay. Nope. Nope. Oh, here you go. Products and pricing. Who are you, who are you looking at? Gold Ossos. Ah. <laughs> the cursed place, I see. It is... 170. 170. I was $10 off. Yeah. Not 200, thankfully. That would That would be very lame if it was 200. Well, I don't think it'd sell if it went to two hundred. Yeah, I don't I think agree. anyone could justify. I mean, it's a lot of models, but let's be real here. Right? Deepkin, well, no, Deepkin are glass cannons, so they're expensive. I guess, if, I guess if you split it with someone again, it's it's this is another one of those boxes to me where you have to want everything because it's it's not enough to want some of it. You kind of need to want everything in the box to make it worth it. Now, if you so split it with someone, that solves the problem. But yeah. Still expensive for Still what really. it is. But 
as as you stated last time we looked at this, the two least played armies in AOS. Uh, maybe maybe you phrased it a different way, but that's how I remember it. Yeah, no, it, they're the two least selling armies in Age of Sigmar. Selling armies, okay. See, that was different. Yeah. All right, so you get and the only thing out of the only thing new are these two new models here. If you really want that, so you'll probably just get these off eBay for like thirty bucks. Right. Maybe. Maybe. Depending on the scalpers market here. Uh, Warhammer Underworlds. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot about this game. Yeah, it exists. People still play it. Well, it's weird, right? I guess, I guess everything's just waiting for LVL. I would say so. I think they're gonna announce a lot of stuff. Probably Eldar. Um, they haven't. I mean, because it's two weeks from now, right? Uh, the twenty eighth. So three weeks. I yeah. Think. So that Monday, they're gonna announce what systems are getting rules. Obviously, I think AOS and forty k are getting something. If there's a thirty k thing, oh boy. Well, we're still waiting on that two-player box set, right? That we were that we all speculated yes. in December. Yes, 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 yes. Please be real. Please be soon, rather. Well, LVO is a good place to do it. I'm hoping it doesn't get canceled, but we'll see. So, uh, ogre, pirate ogre team, coming. Finally, I just, I really can't remember when this got announced, but. Here they are, Haro Deep cards, whatever. Blood Bowl, whatever. It's just a skip Imperial. It is more neat stuff. I'm like okay. Aeronautics. Uh. In Necrons. How random. Necrons. Are these already sold? Or they have not been so, uh, no. sold yet. No, these are a Forge World. Oh, these are Forge World. Yeah. Why why you gotta do this to us, GW? I mean, I don't play this game, but I mean, come on, keep it under one company. Don't let don't let other companies get involved in this. Right, Especially it is kind of Forge World. Uh, so Forge World's releasing this. This is that's sad to hear. Uh, but there we go. Aeronautica getting stuff finally. Cool. White Dwarf. Uh, it's still here. Yeah, um, has new Bone Reaper rules, so I am curious what that's going to entail, if that's going to be their stopgap for a new codex, because you know the army kind of needs a book to function right now, because of the new command point system, so... Oh, looks like it also has Gene Stealer's... Gene Stealer Colts and te uh, Kill Team. So. Yeah, oh my gosh, I might pick this up. Gene Stealer Colts and Kill Team sounds really... I didn't even see that. I'm going to grab this, because uh, a friend gave me uh, some free Gene Stealers, so... Oh, my yeah. paint for kill team. Oh, actually, this is kind of hype. I'm gonna pick this up. <laughs> All right then. Well, there you go. Get your uh, bonus rules in this this week's white dwarf, I guess, or next week's white dwarf. Uh, new from Black Library. We got the Harrow Deep no novel coming out. Yeah. Uh, no comment. Uh, we got the High Elf book, End of the Enlightenment. Is this going to give us a story of Teclis? Or... Um, yeah, it's it's a novelization of uh, of Lumineth stuff, so that would be cool. Well, it's Teclis' war against the forces of death, so... Yeah. It's going to go over there and slap Nagash, unfortunately. More AOS lore is always good. And yeah, let's see. Warhammer Plus. Uh, we can win a set of Hammer and Bolter art prints. Yeah, it's neat. It's cool. Yeah, I'm not complaining. You know, nothing, nothing lame, nothing cool. And then let's see, what, what are we getting? We're getting Cadia stands, so I assume we're gonna get the destruction of Cadia, hammer and bolter style. This uh, this Wednesday, right? Yes. So actually, that's kind of that's gonna be kind of cool. It'd be cool to see Cadians. And then we'll get a lore master video, Realmstone. I'm not uh not familiar with Realmstone. It's uh you remember uh Warpstone from Fantasy? Yes. It's kinda like that. Except, except it's uh realm dependent, so like Death Realmstone. Okay. Is 
Fire Emblem okay. Stone, which is kind of cool. So. so it's AOS. Got it. Yeah, it's AOS. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, so I saw, since we're on Warhammer Plus here, uh, you uh, you have to pick the model that you want to get? Yes. Oh, that was kind of lame. I thought we got both. No, no, you, you, yeah, you pick one. Oh, if you got both, it would be a steal. But no, you, you just get one. You get, you get the thirty-five dollar model, and you, um, and you get to buy the other one. I'm trying to find the words. You, you get to buy the other one. Hmm. All right. Well, I would. I didn't completely understand that. I was like, I thought the, I thought the deal was we get both models, but. No. Now it's looking like we get nothing out of, or I mean, we get one. Yeah. Which is fine, because, I mean, the orc was kind of bland anyways, but... Uh, if you want to pick up those one of those models, you better do it now, because uh, they're swapping out soon, if I recall. Yeah. So, uh, that's the Warhammer... Well, it's not all the Warhammer Plus news. Mm -hmm. Because we got one more. Uh, we're getting Warhammer Plus 22. Getting, getting better. Yes. Uh, so are you excited to see what comes? Because they also I mean, I tease out the, the uh the models that they're gonna be handing I out. I saw here. the trailer, and the trailer is actually really cool. There's AOS stuff finally. There's some titans. There's some guardsmen, which is kind of lacking in uh, Warhammer Plus so far. But the super hype thing is they're going to bring back some of the the old Forge World campaign books in terms of uh, the lore. That's really cool because Forge World campaigns have been pretty high quality, in my opinion, the old Imperial Armor campaigns. And it'll be cool to revisit all of that and kind of theme your games around it. I know Bad Ab War is widely praised as, uh, as just really solid, really good 40k campaign writing. Uh -huh. So... That should be fun to 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 play with. Yeah, and how are you feeling about these two new models that we're getting? Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be well. The death one looks dope. That's kind of hype. Uh, oh, sorry, the chaos one at the bottom. I think the t I think they're both gonna be chaos. the The top one is reminiscent of an old artwork of a chaos terminator. I think it's one of the old codex covers. I think it's the third edition chaos codex, not the three point five one. You think it's um, gonna be Chaos Terminator, huh? Yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna be a Chaos Terminator. The one uh there's an art piece. Um I, I can't find it right now, but yeah, there's an old art piece of a Chaos Terminator, and I think it's gonna be based on that. And you think this one's gonna be chaos as well? I thought this it's one was gonna be death. I thought it was gonna be death, but I saw that chaos kind of star in the in his back. See that arrow there? Very chaosy. I'll have to pull up the video here. No, it's on the uh, on the uh. There's screenshots about the bottom. Uh no, I I see it in the video here. Yeah. Video, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Damn. Chaos. Both chaos. And yes, it right. really will be the year of chaos. Yes, work works for me. I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh yeah. So here we are. Better pick these up if you really want to buy it, or I guess you could wait and buy it off scalpers if you really want to. Right, right. Now, do you have this model already or no? Not yet. Um, it's gonna be. It has to be after a year. So whenever a year after Warhammer Plus launched, because I did subscribe at the start, then we're gonna see it. Hmm. Okay. That is that. In terms of Warhammer Plus news, uh, model news, uh, we got a uh, we got a, some battle boxes coming our way. Combat patrols. Yeah, new combat patrols. Which one do we want to start with first? Tau, I guess. Yeah, top one, the Tau one. Um, it's hard to say because their codex is dropping now. All of these could be garbage. All of them could be OP. We don't know. But. I kind of wish they had crisis suits in it. I think crisis suits are the archetypal Tau unit because it's the battle suit. I mean, at least there's a ghost kill. Yeah, you know, if I didn't have, if this wasn't 
literally my Tau army right here, I'd pick this up. Yeah, because it's, it's cool. got a ghost, got a ghost kill, it's got stealth suits, and it's got fire warriors. I mean, and a and a fire cadre. Yeah, and an ethereal. Yeah, who cares about the ethereal? But again, that is my thoughts from last edition. I don't know anything about what, what Tau is this edition. Yeah, Codex isn't out yet, so we don't know. But, um, but this this box right here, a year ago, I would have definitely picked this up. Or whenever I was starting my Tau, definitely mm -hmm. would have picked these up. It's a ghost kill. So cool. I love the ghost kill. Though, yeah, I was playing Tau. This is a lot of cool. Like I, there's nothing here that's lame to me. So I would probably join you in picking this up if I wouldn't if I had you know I was gonna play Tau. Though now that I'm thinking about it. Now that they uh, they changed the minus one to hit rule, I don't know. I don't know about this army anymore. <laughs> yeah, the the the. Oh, you mean like the max cap? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Being able to get to minus three. Right, right. That would that would be nasty. Ever ever since they restricted it to only being minus one, uh, a little a little harder. That my list will definitely need a lot more work. Right, right. Since it's just stealth suits and ghost skills. But uh, a cool box. Yes, for sure. Uh, well, uh Grey Knights. Uh, what well, can I say? You got like nothing in this box because they're all just elite choices. I mean, this is a ten out of ten box because this is every plastic kit that Grey Knights have. There's in a character, so you kind of <laughs> need this to play Grey Knights. This, yeah, this is just hey, here's all the plastic stuff for our army. Yeah. I mean, starting now, it's not a bad deal. Combat the patrols 80? are what, 90 bucks? No, they're 140. I mean, it's the same discount as the old uh, Star Collecting. You just get more models for more. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. My my heart just dropped when you said it was 140. 140. Pretty pricey. But you, again, you get a lot. It's been, a, a, lot. It's been a while since I bought a Combat Patrol because I remember them being 90 bucks. Yeah. Now they used to have less stuff in them. True. So you it, it is a discount, but you're also forced to buy more, right? Right. Um But yeah, the great the great night one is just good because even if you're a veteran player, like that's kinda all you want. That's that's all this army has to offer is this these units. So you kinda have no choice there in a way. It yeah. kinda like a zombies one, which we'll see later. The the Dread Knights are still still just as nasty as they were yeah. previous edition. Yep. Uh, moving on, we got the oh god, uh, Thousand Suns. Oh, this is this is kind of terrible. Yeah, you're telling me. And <laughs> look who's in the box. The freaking, <laughs> the freaking Infernal Master, the guy I need. I can't believe this. This is an outrage. <laughs> of course. Uh, going on. I don't know why there's an obsession with Zangors. Like, just cramming so many Zangors in boxes. It's like, I, I don't know why either. Uh, Zangors are just not as good anymore. I mean, you can still do the Zangor bomb. The problem is, is they chopped uh, the number from 30 to 20 models a unit. Mm. So now you're down. So now your very squishy unit just went down 10 models. And I mean, without um, veterans of the long war to give them that extra boost in damage. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's like why? Why bother? I mean, they could take objectives, I guess, but still, it's you're better off with just running more rubrics and scarab terminators. Right. Right. If it was rubrics, it'd be, this would be an amazing deal. But Yeah, but let's be real here. You'd probably get like five rubrics. They, they, oh, yeah. If they redesigned this box, you'd probably get like five rubrics and maybe... No, you you get ten, and that's it. <laughs> maybe a uh, like a Vortex Beast. Be like, yeah, here you go. Take this. That's fine. Uh, uh, so I'm disappointed because the Infernal Master's here, and we still haven't gotten that solo. Right. Overall, it's still a bad box. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't... 
I wouldn't bother with it. If I'm being real here. Custodians. Uh, this is, this looks like a good box. Yeah, this is kind of all the army has except the Terminators. Especially for 30k, this is five custodians, ten sisters, and you know, three bikes. There you go. God, I didn't good. even realize there was ten sisters back there. They're so yeah. small. Right. Though I, I blame the image of this of this picture. Why is there a glare on the box? <laughs> good question. Like GW, what are you doing? Good question. Uh I don't know anything about the Sisters of Silence. Uh, again, I have not been following what they've been up to, but I mean, you get three jet bikes out of this, and yes. I'm pretty sure the jet bikes are still really good. And yeah, you yeah. got a bunch of other stuff that could, you know. I mean, it's custodians. You got five wounds now. I mean, what what's there to complain about? Literally walking dreadnoughts out there. Yeah, and the bikes. Yeah. And then Gene Steeler Colt. Um I I like it. It's it's stuff you would need. You got your aberrants, you got your neophytes, you got your acolytes. Yeah, this is a great one. I do well yeah, I mean you're gonna need a lot of neophytes anyway, so might as well. I mean you're a horde army, so Yeah. What I do know, or at least from what I've heard is that uh, g Cults lost the Brood Brothers, which are the Imperial Guard aspect of the army. Yeah. You can take them as allies, but, uh, yeah, they're, they're no longer considered Gene Stealer Cults anymore. So that, uh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean... Well... How does that work? Is is it they're not I thought they still get the cult keyword. Or do they have their own ally keyword or something? I, I was I don't remember. I just remember that they didn't they didn't get points in the uh in the newest book, is from what I heard. Yeah, I just I think you just take them from your guard codex. Yeah. I think yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so they they they're just allies now, so they do get the cult rules, so they do get all the cult special rules. So the crossfire or the infiltrate, I believe in all that. But they don't get regiment rules or anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, hopefully they still have the stat lines in the book because that uh that'll suck. Because that means now you gotta buy two books. Yeah, if you wanna include that. But I, I guess it's an optional thing. I mean, right now the Gene Sailor called Army seems pretty has a lot of stuff on its own in terms of options, so it's not like you need the guard codex to feel like a complete army. It's more like a bonus. Yeah, but right. I mean, that's still a part of your army that's gone. It, well, the last codex didn't have it. Did it? No, no, no. They never had it. You you always had to get the guard codex. Oh. Yeah. I thought they were just included, you know, because rude brother. No, no, no. You gotta. You had to get the guard codex. Oh, well, there you go. I didn't know that. Yeah. Kind of like with the custodies before, the sisters weren't included for some reason, so you had to get the sisters codex, or sisters uh, stuff on White Dwarf. Yeah. Well, because they were just part of that one box set, and that was it. Yeah. But, uh, Is this good? I guess. I mean, it's, I mean, not, it's not terrible. Me. Right. It has acolytes. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to make it amazing. Because it has, again, stuff you need. You got your Aberrants, you got your Hybrids, your Neophytes. You got a truck. Yeah. That's pretty solid, I'd say. Well, we'll have to wait and see until the book comes out. That's that's true. What's uh, strong or not. And that is that. Overall, pretty solid boxes. Yeah, I mean, it's cool models, regardless of how they are in the rules, because rules will change. But these will probably stick around for a while. Except for the thousand signs. That one's trash. Yeah, that one just sucks because it's like, why so many signs? Like, why include 10 rubrics? Like, please just, just do that. It's so easy to make. Yeah. And no one's like buying the, it. The Death Guard one has Plague Marines and Box Walkers. So it's just, oh, come on. Now, let's be real here. GW hates chaos. 
<laughs> they always they've always hated chaos. Do they? Yeah. I mean, they made a whole game called Horus Heresy that features chaos. To be fair. Yeah, Horus Heresy getting his getting his butt kicked the entire time. Chaos won in fantasy. True. I think games were. But they easy. they needed a good scapegoat for that, you know. Like, who could we get to? Who could we blame the world ending? Ah, Archeon, yes. Chaos. Get rid of him. Of course. But yeah, uh, we'll have to wait and see because next box, which I has the Eldar Chaos box been announced? Well, I mean, I know it's been announced. Has it have a release date? No, they never. Games Workshop smartly never gives release dates until it's ready, which I think, you know, ha having playing other games where it's like, oh, Yoda's going to come out in September, and it's like, just kidding, he's coming out in March. Well, you that's know? probably because they learned their lesson with the Admech Codex and the yeah. and the little roadmap that they did. Yep. And, yeah, and even then, that's not a precise date. That's just like an, a, an approximation, right? No, because I think... I think did they have the month? Admic had a uh, binary code that said when its release date was, which you know, if you deciphered the code, it would it tell told you the date, and you know, that didn't happen. Right, right. So they they probably just learned from that, but that makes sense. That is that. Uh, I'm gonna just talk a little bit of rumors, or sorry, not rumors, leaks. Yeah. So uh we got Shroud Runners, the uh the Eldar jet bike snipers. Mm -hmm. So it's uh gonna be a typical three to six model squad. Uh they're guessing thirty five points a model. Doesn't seem like a lot. Does not. Uh we got a uh weapon or blitz skill two, which I'm like what? That seems that seems a little, little ridiculous right there. Cause uh, these are I mean, I guess I guess I haven't played my Rangers in a while, but I don't think they're weapon skill two or blitz skill two, are they? I don't know. They could be. It's not. I've I've seen other troops before that are that point. So or that are uh, um, two the hit on twos. So. I know, I mean, but you gotta remember right. that these are also snipers, so... Right. Uh, so they're gonna be blitz skill 2, uh, biker core, uh, they got the ranger long rifle, uh, strength 4, AP minus 1, 1 damage, 6 is mortal wounds, obviously, normal stuff. Scatter laser, normal, shuriken pistol, normal. Uh, here's the rumored stuff, uh... Shoot and move. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see if that'll happen the way it does. Because that was... That was... Uh, I think that was a stratagem that used to be a th uh, that we could do. Be able to shoot and move, but you couldn't assault after that. Mm. Uh, get light cover, so with their shrouded cloak, which I don't know how that would work, but whatever. I guess you could just say that they're just moving really fast. Uh That's pretty much it. And then they get they get a scout move if you want to use that. So overall not too ridiculous other than I think the but skill 2 is a little bit nasty. Yeah, it's that's uh I mean, it's Eldar like I mean, Where's Matt Ward? Is Matt Ward writing this? I hope he is. No, Phil Kelly. Matt Ward does not write OP Eldar. Phil Kelly writes OP Eldar. Matt Ward only ever... There's there's two books Matt Ward wrote that were OP. People oh. forget this. Eldar it's and Grey Knights? Knight. Huh? Eldar and Grey Knights? No, uh, he never wrote Eldar. Oh, he did? Phil, yeah, Phil Kelly wrote Eldar. Always a written Eldar. Still works for Games Workshop. Matt Ward wrote uh, uh, Grey Knights and Chaos Demons for Fantasy. <laughs> Huh. I always thought he did Eldar. Mm -mm. Always been uh, the homie Phil Kelly. I see. And then uh, Fire Dragons are getting D6 plus 4 to their Melted Guns. That's pretty cool. Yep. That's, that's, that's pretty much it. 
there's not too much else there because they're, they're they're pretty much normal. Yeah. But that is all I've got. It's uh, like I said, it's a very short, short day for Warhammer. So I guess we could just jump right into hobby rants, unless you got something else I, you want to add. The Autark thing, forgot about him. <laughs> the Autark. I mean, we could look at the Autark, but it's just it's not really anything special, right? I think I, I disagree. I think it's special because. This is the first HQ, new HQ in a long time that has multiple equipment options. Because people are always saying, oh no, Games Workshop is removing customization for HQs. Oh ho, my Primaris Lieutenant has no weapon options. Oh ho, my Orc Warboss has no weapon options. And here we go. There's a new a new Autark with several options. Not only is are there dropping options, it's kind of cool that there's a torso for a male and a torso for a female Autark. So you can even customize the gender of your of your character. Mm -hmm. Got three sets of heads, two two sets of melee weapons, three sets of melee weapons. I think. Um, that could be wrong. Maybe I'm I'm confusing it with by combining him with the other kit. Well, I mean, it could be power sword, spear, uh, chain sword. Yeah. Give him a yeah. scorpion's claw, I think. Yeah. Because I mean, odds are supposed to be the master of all aspect warriors. So. Right. And he has four guns. He got the fusion gun, the re uh, the death spinner, the reaper launcher, and the uh, the shuriken pistol. That's crazy. Um, and it's compatible with the the current kit, which is which has the power sword, fusion pistol, and the wings. The wings, yeah. So that that's yeah. Because at first glance, I'm like, oh, Autark, whatever. But anyways, wait a second. This is a fully customizable HQ, and I hope they stick with this design moving forward, with just allowing for full range of, of weapon options. Well, it's what we want. Yeah. But it's gonna be at the price of our wallets. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a thirty, forty dollar model, because of all that plastic. Yep. But it'll be cool. It'll be cool. It will be cool. I just want the new craft world Eldar here. I don't know <laughs> if I immediately jump in and play them, but I do want them here. Yeah, and they, I'm sure they will be. So what are you thinking, next month? I'm thinking March. To, March. to, be, to be conservative, I'm going to say March. I mean, the dream is, is February, but I, I don't think it's going to be that early. I think it will be March. For sure. Well, February's got to be like uh, it's got to be AOS heavy because we're not we're not getting anything or we're not teased anything for February really. Yeah, I don't know what's coming out actually, besides Eldar and you know what? It could be the box set and then the codex. The full release will be out in March. I think about it. So they're gonna pull the Black Templar. Yeah, I mean it's work well. Yeah, it's that's how kind of kind of how they do it now. So I imagine. Yeah, well, that's that's what I figured, and that's what I'm afraid of. Business wise, what they're gonna do. Yeah. Um. Well, speaking of LVO, you want to take uh, predictions on what they're gonna tease over there? Um, Eldar, Chaos, new AOS, and yeah. I mean, they could reveal some minor Necromunda stuff. I mean, the hope is some 30k thing. Anything, because right now we're not really expecting much. So and any new thing would be cool and welcome. Hmm. Oh, I thought you'd be a little more specific there, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's going to be the box set. It, it could just be... Because here's the thing, if it's not a box set, I don't know what they would tease. We have the con, con on bike, I guess. Because other than him, we're not really waiting for much for in terms of Horus Heresy. Well, I'm gonna take a look at the uh, the rumor that's been right so far. Yes. So here we got. Okay, well, going by the video that we saw, we got the Chaos Knight new variant that we could see. So maybe Chaos Knights. Oh, that'd be cool, Chaos Knights. 
maybe uh, look into corn demons being redone. Gosh, please, new blood letters. I will redo my corn army. <laughs> well, I mean, Wait, I would assume corn because if the world eaters are confirmed, you you yeah. know, you know, Angron is gonna need the new oh yes, yes. posse to hang out with. Yes, please. Uh, so I'll just say my hopes. I think the model that's gonna be revealed. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. It's gonna be Angron. Angron's gonna be revealed. The big tease thing. Yes. The, I'm, I I I think it'll be the Avatar of Kane. That's like the most likely answer that's gonna happen. Yeah, but the wish list is is definitely Angron. That would be amazing. If they revealed. Demon Angron. I, I'm I'm hoping for Angron because because at least from my experience with the LVO is they reveal stuff or tease stuff way way down the line mm -hmm. because they did that with the Lumineth, they did that with Abaddon, right? Like all all those things that came out like third late late second third third quarter. Right. So I don't think the Avatar Avatar is most likely going to do it, but hope would be Angron would be the big the big model because Eldar Eldar's too close to being released. If we're going to assume, if we're going to assume February March is when they're going to get released. Mm -hmm. LVO is more of like a here's what we got planned down the year kind of deal. Right. So I think we're going to... I think that'll be the big tease model. I mean, it'll either be him or it'll be... Which I hope to God it's not. Squats. I hope they stick for squats and kill team. I think... I think Tyranids... Oh, it could be the Tyranid model. I think Tyranids need a release more before squats. I think they need to update the... The Gene Stealers, the Termagons, Hormagons, before they have new armies. Especially something as radical and crazy as squats. Yeah, well, I mean, again, this was... This one was in the without a specific date. Right, right. Category. But... I mean, World Eaters are in there as well, but that, that I would hope more for that. Um, yeah, I would assume Tyranids... Tyranids Chaos Knights will be getting a lot of models. Well, you know, new models. We'll see Chaos and Rate Imperial variants. Yeah, that would be cool. Tyranids will probably flood everything. World Eaters will be... Or Angron will be, like, the only thing that gets teased. Yeah. If they do World Eaters. And then AOS... Dark Elves... I mean, it's it's Age of Elves, so I mean, we gotta we gotta get the Dark Elves in there. Right. What what's the Shadow Elves called? Uh, Umbraneth. Maybe we'll get those guys. Yeah. Uh, and then Necromunda, I would assume. New gang. We're caught up with the old gang, so it's more new stuff, I think, at this point. No, I think they're just gonna tease like a couple mercenaries. Mm, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna. I think they'll tease mercenaries and then they'll like tease a house symbol. Mm. And they'll be like, a new gang coming. Yeah. In or announced February something. I would like that. Yeah. Just uh, some, some uh, teaser to a full new gang. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, see, I mean, they don't got. We like to see the full models, but, you know, we like to see stuff get teased at us. Because yes. then it gives us something to theory about. Right, talk about kind of thing. And that's the best way to market something. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm sure we'll get uh, a couple kill teams teased at us. I'm sure we'll get a space, uh, Chaos Space Marines and Eldar teased at us, kill team. 
Oh, the new kill team box. That would be cool, actually, because they did announce uh, with this season, there's going to be a new kill team box set coming out. So having the contents of that would be super cool. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to just assume it's going to be Chaos Eldar. Yeah, I, I agree. And yeah, I'm not going to bother putting guesses on anything else. I mean, the only other the only other big thing they could do, which I don't think they will do, is uh, uh, BFG, Battlefleet Gothic. Oh, that would, that would be bananas if they did BFG. But I, I feel like if they did a BFG, they would save it for, like, Warhammer Day. Yeah, some something bigger and crazier. Yeah. But that's uh, that's what I would... That's what I would assume is going to happen. In terms of reveals at LVO for Warhammer. Do, uh, does Star Wars Legion do anything like that? Or is it kind of just... Uh, only, only at Adepticon. Only at Adepticon. Unfortunate. They only reveal stuff at Adepticon. And it, they have like two reveals a year. It's uh -huh. Adepticon and their their own streams. Mm -hmm. The only time. Okay. Well. Yeah. So, probably nothing for LVO, unfortunately. Which is fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Uh, let's, it's just, fine. let's jump it's into okay. our hobby rant section, shall we? Let's do it. So, I'll just start. Since I got a uh, Nurgle's gift, all I've been doing is painting my uh, my Thousand Sons, getting ready for LVO. Nice. Which, uh, you know, I see getting Nurgle's blessing as a as a gift, because now I'll be even more resist resistant to it when I go to LVO. There you go, but and not the, not the, not the con cred. No, nah, not yeah, not the con flu. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely get the con flu. Get it every year. Yeah. Uh, but. I think today I painted four Terminators. Oh, nice. So I finally finished one 10 man squad of Terminators. Nice. And now I got the other 10. Okay, there we go. Almost. almost. And then I got the two Contemptor Dreads I need to finish as well. Oh, no. And the Infernal Master once it arrives. And the Infernal Master when it arrives. But other than that, I mean, that's only. That's 13 models. So. If I can keep up and paint four Terminators a day and listen to, uh, what am I listening to right now? My Audible books. <laughs> I'm listening to uh, Dark Imperium Plague War right now. Oh, there you go. Half halfway through it. I'll I'll be done. I'll be done by this week. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward good, to it. Good progress there. Yeah, I, 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 because I caught COVID last week, mm. I uh, unfortunately did not get to go hang out with my friends in game. So no, no, no games there. But I did play a uh, TTS. Oh, nice! Uh, against against one of my friends, I lost horribly, uh -huh. but it's because I forgot two models. Mm. I, I forgot my two dreadnoughts. You know, kind of important. That's kind of important. It's like uh fighting against death guard here and it's like man i wish i had range so i could like shoot him from afar i'm like oh yeah i'm down like 300 points because i don't have my two dreadnoughts so it was it was sad it was sad for that thousand sons there okay they'll take the revenge next time next time but uh man it just it feels so weird playing 40k on TTS. Yeah, I haven't heard good things about the 40k TTS. It's just so jarring, right? Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, I've been playing 40k for like 15 plus years. Mm -hmm. And it's like, all right, time to roll some dice. I'm like trying to grab my dice. It's like, oh, wait. Uh, it's all, yeah, it's all digital. Gotta <laughs> have no life to it. It's, uh, it's awkward. I mean, it's good convenient because you know you don't have to leave the comfort of your house but i miss that like interaction that you have with like actual people yeah because you're there like that's why i couldn't really get into tts for 40k and for legion or x-wing i may have played for it i played it a bit when covid started but yeah i'm not really not really my thing to be honest 
Yeah, it's good. I'm glad it's there because people all over the world can fight each other at no problems. Yeah. But it's just it's just awkward for me. And I don't enjoy it too much. I will do I will play it. I have no problems playing it. It's just not my preferred method. Right. Totally get you. But that was uh that was my week cuz uh, I've just been pretty much in home doing nothing but gaming, painting, sleeping as the as the virus hits me here and there. So uh what have you been up to? Um just uh finished my sword brethren finally. So there's that. Now I'm painting my a Night Lord squad for 30k which will also function in kill team. And just working on some more Gundams cuz those those are fun. Those are Don't fun. need to bring a painting setup. They're already but, pre-painted unless you want to, you know, enhance the detail. Right, right. Um haven't really had hype to paint some legion stuff. I'm just I yeah, I just want to get paint some 40k oh actually speaking of 40k i uh me will and our friend tom did our first 40k rpg session so that was pretty fun is this dark heresy no it's a new one wrath and glory this was the uh the newest one right that came out like yeah two years ago yeah it came out two years ago and then it got rebooted a year ago because the company that that had it initially kind of sucked at it so just kind of gave up and uh cubicle seven picked it up I thought about getting into that. How is it? It's it's really intuitive. So how the game works, the basic check is you roll uh d6s and a four up is a success. So let's say you have a you uh you have a skill rating of 3, so you roll 3 d6s and there's a difficulty of 2, so you need two successes, two four ups to succeed. Or if you roll a 6, that counts as two, so you could roll one 6 it succeeds. And I like it because it's not just humans. You could play as Eldar, Orcs. I think that's it. <laughs> hmm. As Eldar and Orcs. And the rules support that. So essentially when you start a campaign, the, the DM is supposed to assign a framework, essentially what the rules are. So for example, our my framework was only, only Imperium and no Space Marines. And uh, Tier 2. So the classes are ranked by tiers. So tier one is like an orc boy, a guardsman, a corsair, and tier three would be like uh, an intercess or a prime uh, space marine, a warlock, or a commissar. So it's like okay, you know, you, you could be uh, like Will is a, a tech adept for the mechanicum, and our buddy Tom is a a uh, a, a newbie scion. So it's pretty uh, not not too crazy. No space marines and all that running around. No running and gunning. Yeah. Uh, mostly just uh, exploring and all that. It's cool um, exploring the 40k universe on on a more intimate level as opposed to a big battlefield kind of thing. So it, it's pretty fun. I, I do recommend it. It's I think it's better than Dark Heresy, and I played a lot of Dark Heresy and, equip, and the other games because I, I feel like those games are just overly complicated in what they're trying to do. Well, they're I trying mean, to, you know, stand out. And they've right. been, I know, I mean, they tried to copy old D&D structure, so that's right. why it's a little, I don't know, what the, I don't know what the word I'm trying to look for here. Absurd, I, I, I guess. Yeah. Although I feel from, for me, the, the unique thing about 40k RPGs isn't the mechanics, it's the fact that it's in 40k. So just the fact that it's in 40k is already a draw for me. Yeah. Because there's so right, much to do, because you know so much yeah. about it. Right, exactly, which is which is cool. But um, yeah, just we did that, so we're going to do another session this week. And uh, we're going to do a... So we did a, a one-off adventure. We were in a... The, the, the team was in a shrine world trying to acquire a Xenos artifact. So that was fun kind of investigating and uh, talking to some people, not just shooting the place up, which was which was fun. See that that's my gaming group. Not not sure. my not my Wednesday gaming group, but another group I play with that likes to do RPGs D D style. They're like they're they're obviously like the chaotic evil. They just want to do stuff. So that's usually how that goes down. You can have a framework where your Eldar Corsairs and just wanna Rick stuff. There you go. 
go in and mess up the Imperium. Mm -hmm. Or play as orcs. That, that's the cool thing I like it about Warth and Glory is you could play as orcs. There's you could be a commando. You can be you a mix or no? You can. Uh, it's up to the DM. The DM can say you could mix. I mean, you, you probably have to be some. It would be cool to have some lore reason for doing it, but yeah, you could absolutely mix it up. That's cool. I would. I would definitely do that. Just have it mix. Whatever. Yeah. Just a bunch of rogue traders just going off in the galaxy. There you go. There you go. Well. Uh, well, you got anything else you want to talk about before we close off here? Uh, that's, that's kind of it. Working on this Night Lord's kill team and just building some more Gundams. <laughs> yep, and I'm trying to trying to survive, even though the worst is done. It's it's all gone. I'm basically at the point of where I just have like a cold. Right. Probably could tell in my my speak pattern, but right, right. But surviving is in, is indeed important. That's the important thing. I can't win the LVO if I'm dead. Correct. Correct. Well, all right then. I'd like to thank everyone for making it to the end here. I know it's a short video, but you know that that could be a blessing for some. And uh, we'll catch everyone next week. Later, everyone. Later. <laughs>